so in the last video, we did all the gray paint. Looking good. And now we are going to do the charcoal paint. area all the way around here it all taped off now I'm working on this area and this all went in charcoal as well I see out here. <sighs> Gotta get to the Winnie over here. Um, it's a fairly nice day, so I'm <laughs> sliding all over the place. Whoa. Might as well put on a pair of skates. Life in Alberta. Anyways, uh, open it up, get inside, and I am gonna throw some clear coat on uh, the cupboards. That way that's finished and out of the way, and I can move on from painting. First things first, it's been a while since I've been in here. It's been really cold. So we're gonna peek around and see if we have any sign of mice. This is where it was really bad before we... So I'm gonna clear coat all the chalk paint covered stuff. So that's this whole section. And that's just because the type of paint that I used on it it should be sealed properly so it doesn't scrape off. Um, so that is what I'm gonna work on next. All right, it just says to give it a good stir and not shake it. This should be nice and quick. I'm excited. And then I'm done. And we could actually move on. I think our next step is gonna actually be building, doing some flooring and then building that piece in after. Um, so yeah, that would be good. So yeah, it's supposed to go on white and uh, dry clear. Um, I know it does because I've used this on a few other things within our house. So that's how it's looking guys. Uh, it's still drying right now so it looks a little milky in areas. Um, but I actually, uh, that's the look we were going for is the nice uh, shiny finish. And the fridge all finished off. Still got to do uh, the inside racking pieces. Um, and we'll be glossing up this back area as well. 
so yeah, next time you guys see it, this whole area will be done. And hopefully we can be moving it into the shop by then. Way over there. <laughs> we'll be sure to video it because uh, it could be a struggle.